Hey everybody, as promised, I have another Easter one. Uh, this is a wooden egg that I found at Michael's. There was actually a big crack in it that I didn't notice when I got it home. So my husband had to fill it in with wood filler and he also was nice enough to sand it down for me so that you couldn't tell there was wood filler in it. So if you can find these at your local craft store, Michael's or Joann's or even dollar stores, um, anything, you don't have to use wood. If you can find an egg, you can do this. So I'm covering this wooden egg with two coats of black paint, matte black paint, um, and it's acrylic paint. There's nothing special about it. it it's actually from the dollar store. Um, we're going to be using watercolors again today. So if you guys are not interested in using metallic watercolors or color shifting watercolors, this is not the one for you. Um, so I'm going to show off my Yuli watercolor set. It's called the Mini Master Set. Um, and they're all color shifting, gorgeous metallic watercolors and they sparkle like crazy and they're activated with water. So I'm using a water brush or a water pen, um, but I'm actually not, it's not full of water because I find too much water comes out of the water pen at once. So I'm just dipping it in a little cup of distilled water and I'm using different shades. I'm starting off with like a red and now there's like a like a pinkish red and I'm just going to gradually go down the entire rock. Don't use too much water or it's not even a rock, is it guys? Oh my. <laughs> but if I had an egg mold, I would have been doing this on a rock, I promise you. But I didn't have time. I was searching for an egg mold and I couldn't find one in time so I ran to Michael's and got a wooden egg to paint. Um so if you're using the watercolors that you've purchased from me, um, you can just gradually go down in your favorite colors. Um, this one, I'm going to gradually go from red to purple to blue. So there's going to be a mix match of color shifting. You can see it running, but that's okay. We're going to cover that up. It doesn't matter if it runs down. Watercolors do tend to dry really, really fast. Um, but if you're using too much water, it's it does run all over the place. So I'm trying not to use too much. Um, and I'm going to just paint right over top of those runs. It's not going to make any difference at all. Uh, now you're not going to unfortunately get to see the beauty of this really um, under this lighting. I can't, I can't even capture it with my silly cameras. And I really hope to be able to capture the color of this a little bit better once it's resin. Um, and this fortunately has a flat bottom, just like me. I have a, a nice flat bottom. Um, so this is going to stand nicely when I resin it. I'm just going to cover it with resin, just like I do with my rocks, put gloves on, soap it up like a bar of soap. If anyone's familiar with one of those, actually, I see like shampoo bars and stuff coming out a lot now. So people know what a bar of soap is. Um, but just soap it up and then I'm going to sit it on its bottom in a plastic container with a lid and I'm going to make sure it doesn't tip over and I'm going to let it rest for 10 to 12 hours after I resin it and hopefully I'll just have some light sanding and some trimming to do off the bottom uh, once it's done but we will see we will see. So you can see the color change but it kind of looks like black with glitter on it. You're not going to see just how saturated this paint is on top of that black until later, until it's resined. Because um, it really, you can't see it very well under this light and it just kind of looks boring. But this is no boring egg. This is my rendition of a Peter Carl Fabergé egg. One of the famous famous eggs that were created. They were covered in jewels. He made them as Easter gifts for his wife. Um, and it was just, they're so famous. These things are such delicacies in the world. Um, so I don't even know if I'm saying it right. Fabergé, Fabergé, Carl Fabergé. Um, but yeah, this is my rendition of one of those famous, beautiful, sparkling, eggs. <laughs> so now that it's dry, 
I've got my color, my watercolor on there. It's all dry. You can see it glistening. I'm going to get out my gold because you know what I see on most of these famous eggs? I see gold and I see jewels and I see purple and I see red. I see deep jewel tones um, and fancy designs. I like this one. Um, it's very similar to uh, one of his famous eggs. Um, and it's actually all purple with with gold. And I wanted to change it up a bit using the shifting colors. Uh, so depending on what light you look at this under, it's going to be a different color. And it's definitely not going to be uh, nearly as beautiful as these famous jeweled eggs. Um, but And these eggs were made 136 years ago. Wow. And that is amazing. Uh, so we're learning something new today because I'm, I'm looking it up while I'm talking to you. <laughs> um, but anyway, I've, I've always been fascinated by these fancy decorated eggs, Ukrainian, uh, Ukrainian painted eggs as well. They're just so beautiful. Um, so I had to do one. I had to. Um, now, so you can see I'm doing a very simple design. Um, I did a center dot and then I did four bigger dots around it and then I walked the dots around those four bigger dots. You can slow this video down. I'm also making mistakes and putting the dots in places that I didn't want them and if I do that I just wipe it away, paint it black, let the black dry and go back over with the same color of watercolor. You're not going to notice, I promise you, no one is going to notice that you've made these mistakes because you just go back over it. I made mistakes everywhere here. I had to erase a couple of dots. Um, sometimes if your dots are dry and you realize they're in the wrong place, I scrape them off. Like I, I literally scrape them off with a like pair of scissors, just a sharp edge of something. Um, I have a nail tool that I use sometimes that scrapes like um, gel nail stuff, acrylic stuff off your nails. Um, it's a good paint scraper. <laughs> Use what you got. Use it if you got it. So I've made a few mistakes and I've, I finally have my dots where I want them um, around, around the top here. Because now we're just going to walk those bigger dots right down in a straight line, as straight as possible. So you don't have to worry about any other fancy designs. Um, at this point, we're just going to walk the dots down uh, move on to the next row of dots and walk those ones down. It's a weird angle to be painting at and trying to show you guys at the same time. So I apologize if you can't really see what it is that I'm doing. I'm trying to go easy on you. I'm trying to make this simple enough. And I mean, as long as you can get a circle of dots around the top of that egg, you can do whatever you want with the top of the egg. But as long as you start with that circle of dots that we have, that we can walk down uh, the rest of the egg. To, you just follow that line all the way down. But as for the very top of the egg, do what you want there. I was just messing around with some dots and hope, hope that it's going to look good. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. You can put whatever design you want on over top of this beautiful metallic watercolor. Um, now you can get... Uh, I will leave the links in the description for Yuli, uh, Yuli Watercolor. I will also, uh, of course, my Etsy shop is there. I'm going to be adding some more uh, watercolor paints and color shifting paints uh, probably today. Um, but they go really, really fast. So, you know, refresh the shop if you want to check for them to see if they're there. Um, and hopefully I'll be making some more paint very, very soon. Um, but as for this one, this is Yuli Watercolors, and they are located on Etsy and out in California. The shipping, I found, is kind of pricey for some people, uh, but I really, you know, this paint lasts for a long time, so to me, I kind of ignore that shipping part of it, because uh, I know it's going to get me through multiple uh, beautiful little pieces of artwork. So I'm not too worried about it. Definitely worth it. Uh, I'll let you see how it looks under the resin at the very end of this video. Um, so now from dot to dot, I'm just kind of like being Spider-Man and I'm swinging from dot to dot. Um, 
making sure that I have a dot there to swing to because <laughs> I might have forgotten to fix something there. But that's all I'm doing. I'm swinging from dot to dot using my fine lining brush. Um, make sure your paint's not too thick. It'll it'll swing over there without any lumps and clumps if you have uh, your paint not too thick. Um, I do find if I add just a little bit of water to my gold paint before I use it, it does help because it does get thick really fast, this stuff. It's the uh, Folk Art Mayan Gold. So I don't know if it's because it's highly pigmented uh, or, or what, but it just seems awfully thick and I do have to add a little dribble of water. So I'm just stringing it. This is not perfect. It's not symmetrical. I didn't use a template or rulers or, or anything like that to get this uh, done. I'm just making it look beautiful all on my own. And nobody's going to care when we're done, right? It's going to look beautiful. So now that I've got uh, swoops from dot to dot, I'm going to do these little triangle type things. And now it looks like we kind of have like circles or scales on our stone, kind of like a dragon egg. I might be giving you guys some inspiration. <laughs> um, I am just putting these little, I, I don't even want to call them triangles. I don't even know what to call them. Um, yeah, just little pointy things going from the center of your swoops down to the dot. Center of a swoop down to the dot. Um you guys can see that, what I'm doing. So now I'm going to do the same thing I've seen inspired by these famous eggs, of course, is some dotting. I'm going to put some gold studs on here and I start in the center. I'm going to call them scales now because they kind of look like scales on a dragon's egg. Um, so on each scale, I'm starting in the center of the bottom of it with a larger dot of paint, and then I'm walking the dots up until I run out of paint. So the dots just automatically get smaller. But that's what I'm trying to aim for. I want those dots to get smaller. So each one of these little scales is going to have that same dotted design. I'm not gonna bore you and make you watch me do the whole thing that way. It's done now by the magic of television. <laughs> So it's all done. It's all dry. I have scales and dots. And now on each one of those larger gold dots, I'm going to add some Swarovski crystals. So these are some Swarovski crystals. They're AB Swarovskis. So they're beautifully colored, very sparkly. They're still going to sparkle underneath the resin, um, but I'm going to resin over top of them so that they do not budge. So they are there forever and a part of this little masterpiece, okay? Um, if you want to glue them on after so that you still have all those sparkly facets that you can stare at. I know I do like to, to stare at sparkly facets. <laughs> I am not sorry. Um, but if you want to stick them on afterwards, use a good glue, but be very careful because the glue will tarnish the resin. It will like make it foggy and dull where you're putting the glue. So as long as you're careful, it won't be noticeable. But I'm going to put mine on before and then I'm going to resin it. Once all of these crystals are dry, I'm just using triple thick as a glue um, so that I can glue my, my little crystals on. But now I'm going to show it to you. Oh, look at that. I love the contrast between like that matte sparkly watercolor and then the sparkling crystals. You almost don't have to resin it. You could leave it just like this and and get a little stand for it, a little cup for it to sit in. Ah, it would be gorgeous. So now we're going to see it resined and it looks so sparkly. And now some of that color can be seen a lot better because of that resin coat over top. Uh, this looks pretty royal to me. I don't know about you. <laughs> Let me know what you think in the comments. Are you going to attempt one? Are you going to run out to Michael's and find one? Or are you lucky enough to have a mold to make a beautiful egg like this? Or are you going to paint like your own eggs at home that you already have? Like 
real eggs. <laughs> I loved creating this with you guys. I am still obsessed with the Yuli watercolors. Um, the pigment is just so beautiful and it shifts to so many different uh, ways under so many different lights and it just looks fantastic. Here's a still photo. Um, it's a lot easier for me to capture some of the colors under different lights with a still photo. Uh, this is magical, you guys. I don't know. Might be my favorite egg yet. I hope you guys had fun with it. I will see you guys very, very soon. I have another tutorial coming out in two days. So make sure you've hit the subscribe button. And I will see you very soon. Love you. Bye.